Hey guys, this is Kawaii Life Antonio here, and I am at the Cuckoo Harajuku Dolls Tumblr. So, Cuckoo Harajuku, it was planning to have a fourth season. However, so many, so many things did it. For example, its worldwide airings, it didn't do the best worldwide. The only country that managed to air season one on linear television was in Poland. Not counting Australia, and oh boy, when Australia did it, you just it just ended up on Disney Channel in Australia before it shut down, which was kind of bittersweet. But uh, I do notice a little error there, but that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is that there were planned dolls that were unfortunately unreleased due to the things why to get it. I hate it when a show gets canceled over toy sales. For example, Littlest Pet Shop 2012 was cancelled even though it ended in a good run on season 4. It was planned to have more episodes. It was planned to have more episodes as it ended off with a cliffhanger. You know why? Because the Littlest Pet Shop fandom, the toy fandom, were they were furious of the 2012 toys. And that led to the show unfortunately being cancelled. I hated that. I really did not like that they decided to cancel it over those dolls, over those toy sales. And the same might as well be the one of the reasons why Kuka Harajuku didn't get a fourth season. So, without further ado, I might as well show the dolls. Now the first one is the Maxi Sun dress set. Let me see. Let me see. Ah, the Maxi Sundress Fashion Pack. And it seems like Love has the outfit, even though it was actually Angel that wore the dress from the episode Mystery Guest. I enjoyed that episode. It was quite crazy that a uh, baby answered heavy metal on the on that answer. That was crazy. A little spoiler, but man oh man was that insane. But, uh, yeah, that's what it looks like. It has, it has the, it has the bow basket, it has the dress, it has the charms, it includes a cloth dress, a pair of shoes, a fashion accessory, and six Harajuku charms. A child or doll can wear each accessory. Six Harajuku charms can customize the accessory or doll's hair and outfits. The assortment includes sushi, rainbow unicorn, super strawberry, butterfly blooms, pink cupcake, maxi sunny dress, and bunny outfit fashions. So go cuckoo for these kawaii fashions and colorful accessories from the Nickelodeon anime series Cuckoo Harajuku. Were they planning to put it back on Nickelodeon for season 3? Now if that was the case, that would be crazy. Because oh boy did Nickelodeon treat this show poorly. I think it would have been a little too late. Oh, it's way too late given that YouTube has most of the season 3 episodes now. Except the ones that are unfortunately lost media. But I don't think that might be the case. I wouldn't think that they would do a miraculous situation because oh boy, I, I don't think they will do it at all. And uh, I honestly uh, think that Disney Channel should have picked it up instead of Nickelodeon. Because Disney Channel actually treated her acquisitions better, in my opinion. But, uh, I might as well go over to the next one. Alright, next one is the Bunny Outfit Bash Pack. And, hey, look! It's Baby. She actually is wearing the outfit. Now, that is accurate because that was from the Fantabulous Five. Ah, yes! My Hero Academia is my favorite anime, and that anime is that Kuka Harajuku episode of the Fantabulous Five. No, it's not really my favorite anime. One of my favorite anime is One Piece, and I also like Black Clover. Not into My Hero Academia that much, but for those that really like it, more power to you. But, uh, anyway, it has the same thing. And it has the same assortment. It has a clip that you can put in your backpack. Well, you could have because it unfortunately is unreleased. Both of those fashion packs are unreleased. I think they were planning to have more. And that got cut short. 
Yeah, that kind of hurts. That really hurts to see there. So I might as well go over to a more special thing when it comes to being unreleased. And speaking of baby, she is the one the donut outfit she wore from the sweet life given by Gwen herself, and it contains a monster pet even. Yes, it they could have gotten monster pets to go with them. And it just says baby. It doesn't have information, it just has that picture. And from what I've also seen about it, it does look pretty nice. And hey, the monster pets get that sweet life bling. Well, that Sweet Life style. And it's the one from Angel with her ice cream outfits. And it, can, it includes a little Raz. Look at that. Raz has a little ice cream monster pad. And then there's music. Oh, man. These would have been great if they were released. But unfortunately, they were unreleased. Ah, those doll seals. I remember when these Kuga Harajuku dolls just ended up on clearance. On like 2000 and I think it was 2018. Yeah, like early 2018, they did not sell that well. And there was a pickle, which just contains a giant helmet candy. And there's love. And look, it even contains a little, a new charm of Yummy Bear. Probably because of his brand new design. And he actually gave Yummy Bear his own little figure. And, and, of course, his Season 3 look, he looks like a jelly bean, a jar of jelly beans. Oh, I love his a gumball machine with her dressiness music, dressed up as, like, a candy. Now that's clear, because, yeah, I know, Yummy Bear really likes those jelly beans. And now here's the main one. Alright, so this is G in her cupcake uniform, cupcake outfit, and it contains a little dresser. A little dresser with G, and it could have also received another, another outfit. And that would, that right here would have been special. It would have stored fashion packs, it would have brought into the fun factor. And both of these outfits were introduced from the Sweet Life. Way Gwen Stefani. And let me be clear here. This would have been great if... Oh my gosh, it even has a little storage... It even had a little storage case? Oh man, this could have sold well. This could have sold well. And unfortunately, they're just unreleased. They'll never see the light of day, which is just very sad to see. Oh uh, yeah, and then you get the animal ones... Now, those aren't really unreleased. They can be bought, but on aftermarket prices. Yeah, that's not that's not good to see. And uh, they have less articulation because the normal Kuka Harajuka dolls, they have like elbows and and knees. This is just a generic doll thing, just arms, legs, and head. No ad articulation. Not even articulation in hands, which that was a plus. That was a plus that they did. Would have been nice if they have, you know, foot articulation, like ankle tilts. But, uh, well, they were very articulate. But uh, these, they just went like these for the animal outfits. For example, this is the baby one. And... There's the music one. And they do look all like, they even have like different hairstyles. I did notice that the that the dessert ones also had different hairstyles. I guess he wanted to bring some variety on these. Man, these do look pretty nice, but man, the only way to get these, even when it was on Amazon, the aftermarket. Not Mattel itself for its big distrib distribution. The aftermarket. And then here's Angel. With the bunny one. Like they gave her big. Uh, pigtails. As it seems. Well. Kind of like. Yeah. Yeah I guess they're like pigtails. Um, yeah. These would have been nice. If they were in retail. 
Nender's love. They gave her a side tail. It's quite unique to see about these, but man, oh man, did they have to be in the aftermarket? Yeah, that's the only way. Oh, and it's nice that they also gave love some glasses, just like in the animal outfits. And then you get G. Looks very interesting. Pardon. Looks very interesting to see with her long hair. And the style actually looks quite nice. I gotta say it looks very nice. It's such a shame that you just couldn't buy these on retail. Only in the aftermarket. And then here are the last ones. Uh, the baby swap doll one. Is also, I believe, in the aftermarket. I think they sold quickly, even. That quickly was not say probably HJ5 fully. And it contains the animal outfits and uh, normal hairstyle. And it contains a little clip. And then the final one is love. All right, pardon. Uh, wow. Yep, that's love. That was, that's her animal outfit. Haven gave her a pair of glasses. Now, this right here is just very sad to see about these dolls being ending up to be unleashed or only being able to be in the aftermarket. So I'm like, oh boy, over $20? Like 30 40 even? That's, that's too much. But yeah, that's, that's all I gotta say about it. It's the unreleased dolls, man oh man. If the dolls could have sold better, we could have had the dessert ones and the animal ones on retail, but yeah, it kind of hurts. These doll sales, it's such a shame to see shows being canceled over toy sales, and it's just very sad to see, and it's unfair too. Anyway, guys, this is Kawaii Life Antonio, signing off. Peace.